Uh, Mr. Shabalela, what makes the music of the Graceland tour and the band uh, different from South African music? Or is there any, any difference at all? No, the Graceland tour music is not different from South Africa. This is the sound from South Africa, actually. That's why you, you'll see uh, Ray Piri is here, because he got the original sound of South Africa. Even the, as you see the group, Ladysmith Black Mambazo, there are the people who got the uh, vocalist sound of South Africa, the original sound, which we call Stratamia. Now, Grisland Tour, they spread the South African music all over the world. That is Paul Simon's idea, which I think it's very good. I love it very much. At this time, I'm very happy that we are going to see even Moscow. Oh, that's wonderful to me. Uh, over the past three years, about 10 million copies of Graceland, the album, were sold in the world. Uh, what has happened more? Uh, well, I mean, uh, has African music become more common all over the world? Oh, yes. If you can notice that there are many musicians from South Africa now who are around here, yeah, France, Belgium, um, going to New York, all over the world because of Graceland tour, because Paul Simon introduced the music from South Africa. Now there are many musicians uh, like Mawadela Queen and Mashatini, uh, Lucky Dube, and other musicians, there are many now, they are popular all over the world, but it, all that came from Graceland too. Mm -hmm. um, what has been your personal achievement over the past three years? Um, what must I say about that? You see, I like music very much. I'm always happy and glad because of music. Now, all the time when we, we come together with my group and sing, to me, that's very nice. And then now, there are many musicians who like to work together with Black Mambazo. As you see me here, I came from London. We were doing music there with, um, the, 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 uh, what I call, the music was composed by Gary Osborne and uh, Jeff Wayne. There we were struggling to sing chords. <laughs> but I'm very happy that at the end we we sing chords very nice and then they were very happy that their record they got Black Mambazo sound. Which but is it possible to mix South African music voices, uh, structures, song structures with Western song structures? I think it's impossible. I think it will be because uh, music came from. Uh, you can you just listen the music with your ears, and then you learn to put your tongue in the right place, even your mouth in the right place. Your tongue in the right place. Yes, you you must put your tongue in the right place. Um, let me say like calling the name, the word, in a right way. I think that's nothing else. Once you know how to call the word in a right way, you must put your tongue in a right way and then you must open your mouth in a, uh, in a correct way, that's all. Now we can work together with each and everybody. We can sing uh, different language, English, uh, France, Belgium, any language, as long as you can learn how to, to talk the language and then you can learn to sing. Has uh, Graceland, the music, and of course uh, the appearance of Mr. Paul Simon, changed uh, South African opinions about black music and South African musicians as well? I, I think uh, there is nothing changed, but because we know uh, Western music uh, all along. We know Western music, but now is the chance that is the chance that 
the Western people to know our sound from South Africa. There's nothing changed, but we just make a combination just to work together. Paul Simon used his voice. His voice is planted in America, and then we use our voice, which is grew up in uh, what I call in South Africa, and then we work together. There's nothing changing. Yeah, but, well, I mean, that appearance of Paul Simon in Johannesburg was something completely new. And a lot of people in Europe and America were talking about yeah, a boycott. Yeah. <laughs> now you're right. Yes, it was completely new thing to see an American work together yeah, as a musician, to sing together one song, like singing Zulu and English together. Um, and then that's why I used to say he just opened the gate, the big gate. He just breached the gap between the American and the African. That's all. Mm. But I mean, more specific, uh, what did Paul Simon achieve in South Africa that you couldn't achieve? Say it again. What did Paul Simon achieve, or didn't he achieve anything in South Africa? Um, I, no, I, I must say, Paul Simon, he helped the musician. In other way, he bridged the gap to black and white. Because of that, he helped the people. That's all. Um, there's one more thing which is, I think, especially uh, special about your music. Uh, you're a so-called a cappella band, a band that sings. Do you still feel very uh, close to the music of Graceland? I mean, the combination of an a cappella band and, uh, and instruments is normally very hard to make. But, well, in the concept of Graceland, you can make that. Oh yes, it's easy to me because this is my music. All the time I was just concentrated with my music. It's easy. When they sing that, uh, play those guitars and everything, play drums and everything, in my head, I play all those drums, those, those vocals. It's like drums to me. Now I think it's, it's come, everything is alright, there's nothing wrong to it. We made a special about Ladysmith Black Mombazo yeah. and you danced a lot and you sang a lot. Yeah. The combination of dance and singing, is that absolutely necessary? Oh yes, once you sing you must dance. Once you dance you must sing. In our place where we grew up, this is the same thing. So you first begin by singing and then after we are looking for you. Now you are singing. What is the next? You must dance. In our South Africa, in our place where we grew up, we do, we do like that. When we, 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 we sing, we dance. That's the logical order. Start singing and then dancing. Yes, exactly. Although Black Mambazo have made their own thing because we always practice and then there is new things came to us. But from Zulu dance, all came from Zulu dance. The original thing came from Zulu dance and then we we developed the music and follow our harmony, and then the dancing developed. So how many different dance styles do you have in South Africa? <laughs> We've got many different dance styles, like because there are there are different people. There are Zulus who dance those kind of music we called in um, um, shaman, and there are other Zulus too who dance another music which we called. Umkobo. And there is another one too, which we call Tisipata, because the way they dance, we call Tisipata. And there is another one too, uh, another people, still Zulus, but they dance another, they call it Umkobo. This is the special dance for those people who call it Amampeimvu. Yeah, there are many, they are different. Yeah, <laughs> you can. It's a beautiful lesson. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks a lot.